Hello and God bless you, everyone. My name is Wilson Oriuela. Thank you so much for joining me here. Just letting you know, we just finished a great Faircast episode. We talked about a lot of different things today. It was kind of interesting the way the show took a turn. We started talking about transhumanism, and we give some explanations as to what transhumanism is and why they're aligning themselves to the LGBT movement. After that, this is very interesting, we started talking about the fact that the Vatican is holding a course on recognizing demonic possession. Lots of people think that the, devil, uh, that the devil is not real, that evil is not real. The devil is very real, and we have to understand that evil is not something, it is somebody. Uh, the, the Vatican, but also priests, are seeing an increase in demonic possession because you have lots of people that are increasing their practices in the occult, in Satanism, and unfortunately you have a lot of young people who are not arming themselves against evil because they're too busy with technology and especially gaming. And that's the third thing we talked about in the show. It's I was surprised to find so many Catholic gamers. I am a lifelong gamer. I enjoy gaming very much. But do we take it a little bit too far sometimes? Do we spend too too much time with the games and not enough time with Jesus, not enough time at Mass, at adoration? And uh, we also discussed the fact that this gaming is leading to a vacuum in our lives, right? There's nothing wrong with having some leisure time, whether it's gaming or entertainment of all sorts and kinds. But is it taking time away from having a personal relationship with Jesus? Is it taking time away from our prayer life? Are we leaving ourselves open to demonic influences? Unfortunately, I have noticed as a lifelong gamer, this trend in gaming towards anti-Christian and anti-Catholic games, right? Games where... You, the character is actually fighting angels, such as St. Michael or St. Gabriel. It's kind of like the villain fighting the heroes, and we're taking the role of the villain. So this and much more on this, uh, the latest episode of Veracast, I'll have the link posted right below me. Please check it out. Thank you to subscribers and donors, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.